Okay, guys. Fall time. You can see I'm kind of bundled up a little bit. We got a nice day, um, but fall time, you know, for me growing up, um, did a lot of crappie fishing. Great time to fish for them, and also a good time uh, to find places where you can ice fish as well. They're sort of starting to get into the deep holes where they spend the winter, and uh, you know, pretty easy to use the electronics, find them, and then just drop a little jig and plastic down and catch them. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you, you know, my program, how I'm using the forward-facing sonar, and talk about the baits a little bit. But put this guy's going in the live well. Going to keep a couple for dinner tonight. Um, but yeah, crappies are fun to catch, um, and we got some great, excellent crappie fishing in the you know northwestern Ontario, all across the region. So I'm running the Hummingbird Mega Live on this boat, and I'm running it on the 45 degree angle. So you know, not it's set up more for looking down, fishing vertical like this, than it is for you know casting way out in front. Um, so right now. I got some, some a little pack of fish under the boat, um, 28 feet of water, and I'm just trying to sort of get on top of these things. They don't seem to want to come from really far away, but this is my bait right here, and then there's a few fish kind of right underneath my feet, basically. I just use artificial stuff for these things. Um, just a jig in plastic today. You can use a little little spoon, um, you know, a little jigging swimming jigs like a puppet minnow kind of deal they can be good Ooh, a little tap. Um, but you really don't need to use a lot of meat for these things like they're pretty pretty uh, aggressive this time of year you just want something that's kind of heavy that you can drop down so this is just a regular Ned rig head um, a 1 6 uh, Z-Man jig head and uh, I've just got a little cut down uh, TRD minnows bait on there, sort of cut in half. So it's just a sort of a stubby little minnow imitator. And sometimes with crappies, I got like a natural minnow color color on right now, but sometimes with these crappies, um, they like dark colors. They eat a lot of bugs and stuff off the bottom. So sometimes like green pumpkin can be, or black can be the deal. Oh, there was a miss. After all that, it took about a minute to get that one to have a bite on it, but here he comes again. Man, finicky. But what's crazy, like, oh, not paying attention, get smoked. What's crazy is I, you know, I never would, I'm on top of a group of fish here now. I never would have saw them if I didn't have Mega Live on here. There's actually a, a standing log just out behind me here that has been in this spot for years and usually I can catch a couple off it. Well I went and drove by and um, didn't see any, didn't see any fish there so I actually uh, just sort of shine this thing around. I could see them, you know, they're 80 feet away from the tree. There's a whole school of them here so kind of cool. Got a couple more on me here. There we go. This one's a smaller guy. I don't know. Decent. Actually a perfect one to eat. They're not, the real big ones, if you can let them go, they're, you know, eight, nine, ten year old fish. So, uh, it's nice to see those big ones. But this one's, you know, probably an 11 inch or something. Um, just a good, good one to eat. Get a pretty good filet off those and uh, they're tasty. It's just kind of like a fall, fall tradition. So I'm gonna show you what I'm what I uh, what I mean. There's my there's my tree where I was actually pulled up to fish. There's no fish on it. Normally you could shine the sonar on it and you'll see, you know, six or eight blobs around that tree. They like to hang around it, but they're not there. Instead, I'm up a little bit shallower. Not even shallower, just closer to shore, and you can see they're kind of all over the place. There's a pack right here. There's some looks like some bigger marks kind of that way a little bit. But all these little marks on the bottom that are separated from the bottom, those are all crappies and there's a pile of them just like right here. But pretty cool with the electronics, the, you know, the downside, crappies are the easiest fish there is to clean out of a, of a bay or an area. So if you find these things, they are good to eat, but just keep a few. You don't like, the limit's 10, which I think is ridiculous. It's way too many. 
and uh, I've just seen too many good places around the lake that were, you know, had really, really good crappie fishing, and you you hardly even catch them anymore. And if you do, they're you know the little small potato chips. So anywhere you find them where they're not fish too hard, you'll get really big ones, um, and it's pretty pretty cool. But these ones are uh, they're not super active, like. I'm not able, I gotta get my bait kind of right in their face and then they'll bite it. I'm trying to snap it around and see if I can get somebody's attention, but. But yeah, if you go out, you know, yeah, keep a few to eat. They don't release real well in this deeper water. Um, they're, they're, you know, you can fizz them very similar to a bass and that helps if you wanna let some go, but, you know, catch a few to eat and then go catch some bass or walleyes. Musky fishing's good this time of year, pike. Um, but we're lucky to have them. They're good to eat. They're kind of fun to catch and um, Sometimes they're as fast as you can drop your bait down there. They bite and other times You kind of got to mess with them and play around with them a little bit. So I probably should try a different color Sometimes the like the whites are better and then other times the darks are better Sometimes when they're I got one right on me right now And I'm actually just sort of slowly lifting my bait up giving it a little shake they don't usually love like very aggressive jigging or anything, so it's just more like try and give it a little shake, keep it up above them. They like to look up to, to eat, so. It's pretty fun using the, the sonar though, man, to video game these things. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty neat. But it teaches you when you gotta sometimes change up your bait or your color. I'm stubborn, I know I can keep picking away at them here and I'll I'll uh, I'll get a couple more bites but I'm sure if I if I just tried a different color or maybe even like a drop shot or a little bit different bait um, I'd oh, miss that one I'd probably um, have a little more luck oh way up high Here he comes again. Got him that time. That same fish. Oh, that fish is lucky. That was three, three shots I had at that one. Here we go. Got a little competition now. Okay. That one feels a little bit smaller. Yeah. Just a little guy. Sometimes if you are letting these things go, you can kind of give them a little slap like that on the water and that just wakes them up a bit and they if they get back down they'll be good but but probably more than like any other fish it's really your your uh just finding the fish is way more important than your than your bait usually they're usually catchable um but and you can use meat too but i mean you just really don't have to they you know i i haven't used meat for crappies and years. Okay. Got a little rod bend out of that one even. Oh, I suck today. I'm getting like five bites a minute here and my landing hookup ratio is not good. them on the bottom kind of that's a nice one that feels like a proper crappie oh yeah look at that beauty that is honey. So yeah, bait, little Z-Man Minnow TRD. So it's actually a uh, three and a half, four inch bait, just a sort of a thin little worm. And I cut it in half and it just sort of fits on a, that's just a little uh, finesse TRD jig head. 
Um, same that we use for Ned rig and for bass and that's it but you know you can use spoons you can use small little swim baits z-man actually has a whole lineup of uh pan fish finesse size plastics coming out i don't have them yet i'm gonna have them here soon for the ice season um but that's all you need to catch these big beauty crappies as far as rods and tackle um i'm gonna keep this guy and that's enough for me for dinner for tonight um but just a little you know finesse um, a drop shot rod, that's just a little Loomis uh, spinning rod, uh, thousand size reel, eight pound power pro. I got actually an eight pound floral leader on there. You could use six, four or six, but you catch big slabs like that, you get the odd walleye or bass mixed in as well, and you don't want to have too light a line. So that's fun. Fall crappie fishing, you know, find them with the electronics and then get on top of them. And uh, it's pretty easy to catch a few of these and have a nice dinner.